Hello everybody, I am Bramman19 and we're playing some more Supreme Lord 2020. This is our Golden Circle campaign and right now uh, the US is kind of jacked up. Um, <laughs> I think uh, everybody is kind of at war with their neighbors. Uh, there's a few guys up here in the Northwest that are not at war with each other. But I mean, for the most part, people are fighting and this is uh, not something I'm used to seeing. Most of the time it's kind of uh, tame. And uh, not this time. We are at war. We are at war up here with, I think this is New Brunswick, Maryland, who has all of Virginia as well. We are at war with. And we're also at war with Mexico. So lots of action around us. Unfortunately, right now we're kind of waiting it out. We are uh, we're preparing for a new war. That, that's really what we're doing. And uh, we have nine... Uh, places, you know, nine product, military production facilities going, really eight. There's one that's being built right now, Fort Blanding, right here north of Jacksonville. But uh, we're trying to get some of our military units to be uh, completed as well because we lost a ton in our last war. We are down to 34 total units and only 16, yeah, 17 of them are... Uh, land units. If we went to war with any of our neighbors right now, we would probably get pummeled. Outside of going to war with Missouri. Missouri I think we could probably take, but we're not really wanting to fight Missouri right now. And, uh, yeah, everybody else though, we probably get hurt pretty badly. So, we're just going to kind of limp along here just a little while. Uh, mainly trying to recreate our forces. I want to try to get up to about 80. I think 80 is uh, units, if they're mostly infantry fighting and uh, tanks, they'll be pretty useful. We're going to go after South Carolina next. And then uh, hopefully after that we can make a run at uh, North Carolina or Tennessee or somebody in here. Just to kind of get ourselves ready for another war and take out Maryland. I think that would be uh, really our most beneficial move at this time. So, Anyways, we do have a couple things being built. We are spending 145 million a day in trying to uh, complete some things, mostly some coal facilities, some or, uh, iron ore facilities, stuff like that. I uh, don't know. Do we have anything in electric power going? I'm not sure on that one. I think we determined that our main problem here was that we just don't have the uranium to run our nuclear facilities, which we won't get that until we start going out this direction. So we won't really worry about that too much. But overall, it's not too bad. Let's see, they're wanting to give us electronic fire control. Uh, no, we're going to do this kind of stuff on our own. I just don't believe in doing tech stuff like that all the time. Let's see, who do we have going on? I know we have a couple of our SEC schools getting built. We have LSU being built. We have Mississippi State being built. We have Auburn being built. Oh, in Florida as well. So, man, we have four going at once. No wonder it's so expensive for things. Well, that's okay. I'm trying to look. we don't have is we don't have any engineers except for the one I have building up this uh, land fabrication, which we want him doing that just so he can kind of hurry on our so our stuff a little bit. After this, I'll just send him around to focus on those research centers. Let's see. There's Fort Rucker. Probably one of our better ones. Fort Benning and Fort Brooker. Uh, Fort McPherson also. Let's see. Yeah, we do have some stuff out here in the far west. Yeah, two here at Fort Polk. One right here at Camp McCain. And one right here at Fort Chaffee. So if you think about it, we actually have four, four of them ready to go right here. And then four ready here, and then a fifth one coming online shortly to prepare for an eastern front push. Ooh, what is this? Tennessee has invaded South Carolina, I think. I don't remember that happening, but uh, it's good to know it's going on so I can have a fresh uh, enemy to attack. They actually have Fort Campbell, which Tennessee has never had a land fabrication in it, so that has now become a little bit of a problem. 
because if they start building up their own units, we're going to have to sweep in here and take that from them. And we're going to have to hit Nashville from the east. I don't think I see it. Yeah, we're going to focus on an attack on Nashville from this direction. He only has one long range there, I think, and not ex you know outside of it. So that shouldn't be a big deal. I could send one group out here to kind of take that, and then another group to come over here. Of course, we're not ready for that right now. Watching these guys fight it out. Up in North it's actually North Carolina's land, not South Carolina, but hey. Possession is nine tenths of the law, right? Let's see what's going on around here. We're up to nineteen units. Let's see, where's my latest uh engineers? Fifty days? Sixty days? I can't tell. It's a weird looking, it's 40, okay, now it's 49. All right, so at least we know 49 days away, we'll have our next engineer to help speed up some stuff. Um, quite a few M2A4s, some M1 Abrams, only one more strike mortar. Yeah, and one low sat, so that's good. That's, that's good to see those numbers. I have an M1 Abrams coming out in like 10 days. Another M2A4 in seven. That mortar comes out in one. Well, let's finish up this land fabrication. It should make things go quicker. Yeah, so here's the plan. If I go after Tennessee, because that's the, that's the only real one I want to go after. If I go after Tennessee, it's going to be a sh like a strike through here on this side. Or with the majority of the force. They're going to come across here, take Cumberland City, while another force faints down this way and draws the majority of their you know actual units they still have. And uh, we'll focus on taking this eastern section while another group, well, this other group over here comes in, takes this, and then comes straight down here once this barracks is done. Now, if I go after South Carolina, I'm going to send... I'm going to let them invade me, honestly. I'm going to let them rush me. Because that's good for me, because that lets them waste all their forces hitting all my garrisons over here. And then we can cut them off and do whatever we need to do. And at the same time, we can then send a new group up over here. And then up down here. And we can kind of just work on focusing, blocking them off. I'd really like to do it when they have Fort, Brad, uh, Fort Bragg taken, though. Because that'll let me sneak in behind them, take that for myself, and then uh, we can kind of circle around Columbia here. It broke out with anybody else, so Missouri is just straight up this road. I think that's uh, is it I-55, something like that, I think. I know I-55 runs up here, so it's probably the same road. I-55, I think. Yeah, run that right up here. And then try to take St. Louis, sweep over and take Jefferson City and take uh, Fort Leonard Wood. Oklahoma's a little bit different. I just come straight over here out of Fort Smith and then work my way from east to west. So that's not too bad. Everybody else, though, I'm not really touching. I'm definitely not going after Texas anytime soon. Texas is going to be like a 200, 300 unit battle. Um... If I did go after them, I'd start by letting them kind of attack me a bit, try to tucker them out, and then I would come across here and take Houston and Dallas being my first targets. If, once you knock those out, I think there everything after that except for the closer you get to Austin and San Antonio, you have some problems, but the rest of the entire Texas area just falls. Uh, they do have quite a bit of Mexico, though. What's their debt situation? Uh, it could be better. Mexico's running low a little bit. Oklahoma, Tennessee, South Carolina, they all have debt. Missouri's actually, well, no, never mind. I saw the wrong value there. Let's see, can I pay off a debt? Oh, no, we don't have any debt. We got rid of all of it, right? Isn't that what I did? Let me see, am I paying interest? Nope, yep, I did get rid of all my debt. 
So now every, every dollar we're making is going right back into us. Let's see, research stuff. Things are fine there. Uh, I don't think I need to really worry about anything yet. They're still working on all kinds of different technologies. I think we'll just be fine to let them do it on their own for now. Let's see, how much time does that have? One day, I can go ahead and move them. Go ahead and get these guys down over here. That'll finish up in one day and we'll start a brand new unit. New engineer in 38 days. Yeah, we should be increasing our troop counts here. We're at 22 already. It's pretty impressive. Turning it around so quickly. What's that new thing gonna make? You're going to make, uh, okay, a mortar team first. It's fine. We could use something like that on the southern front over here. Let's see here. I'm trying to see if I have any C piers down here and stuff like that. Oh, just some ore mines, missiles. I could start working on my aerospace program. As a matter of fact, that's what I'll do. Let's go ahead and start working on some satellites. We need 10 of these bad boys for communications. That should increase our abilities there. Reconnaissance and missile defense. Uh, let's go ahead and queue up reconnaissance. Where is that at? Is it in technology or science? I can't remember. Okay, uh, reconnaissance satellite will do orbital launch pad too, just so we can say we have that technology. And we'll let those build up. So we're about a quarter of the way in our mil in our military units right now. We can pump out nine in each at least every 100 days. Uh, usually it's less. So we'll spend just about 200 days to a year just rebuilding up our forces again. Preparing for this assault that's going to happen. The good news is that it looks like uh, South Carolina is going to hold Fort Bragg. So once we attack, we'll, on we'll not only get Fort Jackson, but we'll get Fort Bragg. And that'll be three brand new land fabrication to add to our totals. Watching these guys fight it out. Sharon Harris. Another thing I can't allow to happen is I cannot allow this war to end, though. We have got to have them still fighting so that maybe North Carolina, I can have them come attack somewhere else and give me a chance. So we got to keep an eye on if it looks like North Carolina is going to break, we need to attack sooner rather than later in that. Okay, uh, that's fine still. I think we're doing okay. I'm just kind of scanning, making sure everything's still staying pretty much the same. This guy's working on that one. Come on, I need that other engineer. Once all these, how about this? How about once all these research centers are done, then we'll go. That that should be a plenty of time, plenty of money. I should be able to do plenty of garrison work during that time to build up and be ready for anything. Yep, more harpoon missiles, tomahawk missiles. Yep, harpoon again. Another tomahawk. Yeah, we've been pretty much the last couple of days have been missling it up, getting as many different kinds as we can. Taking a look over here. Uh, can I even build new nuclear if I wanted to? Yeah, I can. So there's no real point in that. Got a water reclamation facility done. Didn't even know I had one going. Where is this at? Oh, all the way down here in Louisiana. From when that war was ongoing. 
Diplomatic offer for a toad gun. I don't think so. We don't like toad guns. There's another tomahawk got finished as well. <laughs> Look at this destroyer sitting way up the uh, Mississippi River. He's way up in there. I might go ahead and move these guys. They seem like they could probably be okay being moved over here now. Out of the way of any Mexican units, or if Texas were to ever get kind of mad and they wanted to fight us, we can go ahead and move them out. And there's a hydro facility right there still needing to get done. Yeah, we'll get a lot of this stuff done very shortly. And if I had closer to like 40 units right now, I might push this attack, but I only have 23 land to play with. Let's see, can I get you to back off me maybe? Nope, can't get that to work. Nope, can't get Mexico either. I'm pretty sure I, Maryland may not even want to do it either. Yeah, they don't. And I don't really want to go piece up Maryland. I just want to beat them up. I want all this for myself. The Golden Circle needs to be at least Maryland and Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, Missouri, Kansas, uh, Colorado, Utah, Nevada, and California, southward through Mexico, all of Latin America, northern South America, and then all these islands. That would be the perfect golden circle. And of course, everything filled in underneath that too. Now, of course, I can go in there and if somebody else wants to fight me around here, I, I don't have a problem going and attacking them though. If I knew I didn't have to sail around Maryland's fleet, which is undoubtedly somewhere out in here, I'd go ahead and I'd attack up here and take uh, New Brunswick. That would like me start. That would likely start me a war with like Nova Scotia and uh, yeah, Prince Edward Island and Maine, probably even Quebec. Who would have an early uh, victory, lead, like early chance to beat me up here? Look at these guys going to war. They just stretch straight north on them. Wait a second, that's New York? Oh wow, New York has done a ton against Quebec. I'm sitting here looking for all of Quebec's stuff too. Yeah, Montreal's taken, wow, New York did work pretty quickly. And not in the UN. <laughs> Alright, we got some more military, uh, some more facilities getting done, ore mines. Dropping us down to 112. Yeah, here they are down here. Let's see how that did. Should just about have positive ore mine production. There's some more coal mines getting done. Let's see, where did I put out some more ore mines? There's coal. Some more coal. Ore out here. There we go. These guys will be done shortly. Yep, he's all the way out here. Fort Benning is our designated engineer spot, I guess. Normally it's a ranger school, so I don't know why that's uh, doing that. Yep, there's a striker getting done, so now we just moved up. We're at 25 units. What's he about to produce? Okay, a Bradley, good. He's got an M1 Abrams coming. He's got a Hercules Nike unit engineer M1 Abrams Let's see what else is there M2A yeah another Bradley and M1 Abrams the low sat from him and another Bradley okay plenty of units uh, lots of ore mine just got done Let's see, yeah, we just went above and beyond there, so we're good. Now we just need to wait on coal. I'm 
trying to look here. We're doing pretty good in everything except for electric power. It's from that demand for uranium that we're having such a hard time with. Yeah, they're going to be completing this land fabrication any minute now. I'm debating if that war should be, if I should go ahead and start it. And if I did, I don't, I wouldn't have all that much to rely on. Let's see, I'd probably only put two, three, four, five on this front. So let's go ahead and get those guys entrenched. Not too many other Bradleys. Let's put these guys over here. This guy right here. Quite a few M1 Abrams though. You have a lot of strikers and a couple of Hercules units. Yeah, that's gonna. I think that's a little uh, off kilter there on my unit counts. Let's see what this springs. This brings a group force of six. And I can't tell yet what this is going to bring. Come on, get up here and help me out. And a group force of 10. Yeah, that's not very strong. That can. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19. So far I'm seeing 19 units. So yeah, I beat them by one, but don't forget I'm also going on the offensive. And I've got to take his land. I don't think it's worth it right now. We could wait for some more units to come in, make it more worthwhile. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're gonna wait for a, a few more. We we have a, some. We're just days away from some units being done, so let's wait. Unit design for a missile. Here comes an M1 Abrams out of here very shortly. In fact, there he is. Send this guy over here. We have an M2A4 Bradley going to pop out right over here. In less than a day, he should be popping out just about now. Yep, there he is. Well, it pulled him out of that unit thing. Come on, give him to me. Yep, there he is. Let's go ahead and grab him. I'm going to send him right up here. To Jackson. Let's see, I want to show something if I can get the right map mode pulled up. And actually, we'll wait till the next episode because I have gone way over. Alright, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. And I know it was kind of boring this time, but hopefully, next time we can go to war with Tennessee and take all their land fabrication from them and maybe take their capital. So, alright, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.